Hey there, it's Jamirafan2000, and welcome back to another episode of Jamirafan Talks About, where I basically talk about the whole 24-year historiography of Jamiroquai. Uh, in like the last two episodes, I talked about the first two Jamiroquai albums, the old sound, as many fans would call it, the acid, the acid jazz funk roots of the original sound. Now we come to 1996, Jamiroquai's third album, 1996's Traveling Without Moving, which was a bit of a... Uh, it was a bit of a far point for uh, Jamiroquai. They, um, this was one of the most, how can I put this? One of the most genre-defining album or genre-jumping albums for Jamiroquai. Uh, Toby Smith, J.K., and more of the band members in this album would contribute, especially Wallace Buchanan, who played the digital of the band. But uh, this album was all over the place. But for, just because many people think that think of Jamiroquai as a one-hit wonder here in the United States, and that's, you know, many people can't remember Jamiroquai unless you think of the 1996 video by Jonathan Glazier's Jamiroquai's Virtual Insanity, which was a groundbreaking music video for its time, near the end of the, nearing the end of the, um, of the fabled history of the music video, or I should say the second golden age of music videos from 1982 to the late 90s, but, um, this album was a monster. When Virtual Insanity hit, everybody everybody was named Seki Jamiroquai. It, it became a household name, especially in the UK and Japan. But um, when it came to the United States, it was gangbusters. I mean, it was a game changer. But when you think of the compositions within Traveling Without Moving, it, this was the most wide open Jamiroquai album, creatively speaking. They were covering every genre in this album. You had your basic disco you had your basic disco tracks like Cosmic Girl and All Right. You had your ballads like uh, Virtual Insanity. Uh, you had just straight up white knuckle funk like Function, which was the UK bonus track. And most notably, Traveling Without Moving itself. That was one of the fastest party tracks from America I ever put out. But um, it would end up ultimately selling nearly 9 million copies. It won an Ivor Novello Award for songwriting. It won a Grammy for Best Pop Vocal. And then it ended up winning over nearly 8 MTV Video Music Awards, you know, back when they actually meant something. I'm sorry to say that, but they don't mean anything anymore. I'm sorry. But um, ultimately, this success would, you know, carry on onto the next Jamiroquai album, which many fans could pretty much call the drug album, but... You know, that, that that was Jimmy J.K.'s demons. So he, he was smart to deal with them. But um, I wonder what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts of Traveling Without Moving and the tracks within the album? Uh, please leave your comments and thoughts on this album in the comment section of this video down below. And uh, I'll see you again really soon with another episode of Jamir Van Talks About. Bye-bye.